Well, good morning. It is, it is now Monday. What a fantastic spot this is. If you guys are ever in this area, be sure to stop by. Spend the 34, 10. If you do, make sure you tell these places around here that I sent you, and they'll have no idea who I am. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, yeah. We get to go pick up some aluminum ingots, ing ingots, ingots, and uh, head to Indiana. I think we're going to be... Uh, because I think it's like 723 miles or something like that. So I don't think I can do that in, the, in one day. I don't like to do over, I try not to do over, hold on fat butts, hold on babies. I don't know how you guys get tangled. Go on, walk forward, walk forward, go, go. Walk forward, there you go. How you guys get tangled up so much now? I don't like to do over 65. Um, just the cost of fuel right now, man, is, it's just crazy. Leave that alone. So. Anyways, yeah. This is a great spot, man. Uh, and we just noticed uh, Planet Fitness is over there. So technically, if you have a Planet Fitness account, you can uh, you can get free showers. Um, we got our shower before we realized that. And honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know if I still have my Planet Fitness. I don't know if I ever talked about this. But, like, I've tried to cancel that many times. You don't want to go on the grass? Mackie got a sticker in her foot. So now she's freaked out about this, this section of grass because this is where she got the sticker in her foot. Squirrel. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just call up Planet Fitness and cancel your account. They expect you to go into... No, we're not going across the street to see the garbage man. Look at her. She wants to go see the garbage man. You can't just go in and cancel your uh, your um, your account. Um, you can't or you can't call. They want you to go to the store that you opened your account up at, which I opened mine up in Texas, and they want you to cancel that way. And I'm like, I can't do that. They're like, well, then you have to submit a letter, and you submit a letter, and then they still keep charging you. Come on, fat butts, we got to get out of the road. Man, you guys are crazy. So, I contacted my bank and I told them, I'm like, look, stop these guys from taking money out. Because it's, it's kind of a scam. Like, they tell you it's only like $12 a month, but it seems like every other month they charge you like some type of other type of like gym membership. Fees. And it's always like some random number. Like, sometimes it's an extra $50 a month. Sometimes it's an extra $30 a month. And... There's never no rhyme or reason. Why? Do you want to take one of these dogs? Yeah, I think we got a wrap with you on Oh, is she starting to chew on it a bit? So I told the bank, I said, stop chart, stop, stop letting these guys take money out of my account. I don't know if they ever did. I have to check my account. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to walk these dogs. We're going to go get some aluminum. And then, uh, go see Grandma. Yeah, I've, I still haven't decided how long we're going to stay and see Grandma, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on the board if something good pops up. I don't know. That's a good looking Pete. All stretched out. You could hear. Hold her.
What now? <laughs> now. Come on, in, in the truck. Good girl, fat butts. Come on, come on. You're okay, man. Go. No prime. Go lay down. Go lay down. in here? Doesn't look like it. Starving for fuel, man. So we wake up this morning, and before I walk the dogs, I go ahead and start the truck up. And I get back, and the truck's not running. And now the truck won't start. I can't get it to prime. Which I don't know if I ever got this primer pump to actually prime. Remember we used the airline. But we've st we started this truck up 20 times over the weekend. And never had a problem. And now all of a sudden this thing doesn't want to start or run. doesn't make any sense man how would I have lost prime I sent Lita over because it looks like our globe our, our uh, Davco fuel filter housing is empty like I've never seen it so empty before when I would change the filter it would always be up a little bit So I sent her over with a jug to get like a gallon of diesel so that we can try to fill that globe up. I don't have any way of siphoning any out of my tank. I, I, I don't understand, man.
I don't know if this is gonna work, man. I'm, I don't know if we buy an air compressor or what. You want a blanket? What? You want a blanket? Oh, we got it running, but it runs rough. Something is not happy. So we called a uh, mobile mechanic. They were supposed to be sending someone out. I don't have a lot of faith in mobile mechanics, to be honest. But uh, they just called me and they're like, yeah, we can't work on Max. There's a uh, Rush Truck Center in Salinas, but they have some terrible, terrible reviews. Uh, the uh, the primer pump on that new primer housing that uh, we just put on, I'm trying to prime it and you can hear like air and like fuel kind of like, sounds like it's coming out of the handle. There's definitely fuel coming out of that primer handle. Like, did that brand new primer, that uh, fuel filter primer housing go bad already? Is that why we're having issues here? Crazy, man. Like, I can't find anywhere local to buy one. I may have to buy another one off of Amazon and have it sent to this gas station to put it on at this gas station. Ugh. Man, this the truck's been running perfect. I mean, it, it fired right up this morning. Yeah. It fired right up perfectly. Jumped out, got the dogs out, took them for a walk, came back, and the truck wasn't running. I'm like, what in the world? Got in, tried to start the truck, truck wouldn't start. Walked over to Walmart. I walked to Walmart. Well, first I tried priming it. Me and Lita tried priming it, pri tried priming it, wouldn't prime, wouldn't prime. So I walked to Walmart and I bought a air compressor because we don't have any air in the tanks because we've been sitting here for so long. So I bought a cheap little $100 air compressor to pressurize the fuel tanks to try to get this thing primed. And we actually got it started once and it was running but it was running rough. And it's like the longer it ran, the rougher it would get. Like it's sucking air into the system. What's weird is I just checked the fuel tanks last night when the truck was running. I was like, I wanna see if like, if we have any air bubbles. And I checked, no air bubbles. There's zero air bubbles in the fuel tanks. So it's sucking air from somewhere. And with that primer handle making the noise that it is, Something tells me that fuel filter housing is bad. I don't know. Maybe we just need to order one of those. There's no shop around us. Yeah, there's no shop. But like Junction City doesn't have anything. I didn't realize like with it having all of this here, there's nothing here. The closest Mac place I think I, I found was 130 miles west. I can't remember the name of the town. Uh, 
have a Rush Truck Center in Valdosta? No. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. I'm going to see if I can locate a part, find this fuel filter housing locally, and if not, we're probably just going to have to uh, just have to order one. Man, this Rush Truck Center over here has terrible reviews. Uh The, uh, so we were supposed to meet a guy at a scale, scale the truck, and then load, and then come back to a scale, and uh, scale again. And we were supposed to meet somebody this morning, but we couldn't get our truck to start. And we noticed a truck sitting over here, and a guy pulled up next to us, and I guess he'd been sitting over there waiting on us, and he seen us over here trying to start our truck, and then he seen the company name, he's like, oh, you guys are the guys that... We were supposed to meet and I had no idea they were they were the ones that we were supposed to meet I don't know man it seems like it's that primer handle dude that thing's making some weird noise like sucking air and the fastest I can get something here is in two days it'll take two days to get here should make it a Wednesday. I don't want to sit in this truck for two days. I might go get a hotel room. Where are we going? We got a new house. Um, I didn't really, I guess the room's in your name, right? Yeah. The package for Amazon is in my name. Okay. I put you as a guest though. Okay. okay. I mean, I'll just keep an eye on like delivery Wednesday and. Oh, that fat butt's gonna be weird about this. Go on. Yeah, it's okay. Come on. She's weird about doors. Yeah. Yeah, every. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She thinks everybody's her friend. All right, you jerk. Yeah. I guess those are throwaway. I don't know if I. Too slow. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Daddy's with you. Hold on, hold on, I gotta throw the bag down. Take your leashes off. All right, hold on. Okay, fat butts. This is it. Got a microwave, a refrigerator. I don't know, I don't know if I should grab my computer or not. Looks clean. Yeah. This air's gotta get kicked on. 